Next, we have the date add function. Date add is used to either add or subtract a specified time interval from a date. Now I know judging by the name date add, you will think you can only use it to add a value, but you can also use the same the date add function to subtract a specified time from a date. The syntax is similar to what we've seen before. So we have the date add, which is the name of the function. We have our parentheses. We have the date part, which specifies which part of the date we want to perform that action on. We have the number, which is the value that we want to either add or subtract. And then we have the date in which we are performing the action on, on, on which we are, you know, either adding from onto or subtracting from. Let's switch over to SQL Server. So we have the date add function. And I would write out the, the syntax as well. So we have date add, and we have the date part, and we have the number or the value that we want to add, and then we have the date. So we'll choose a date and add a value to it. So let's say, let's start with our select, and let's add to the month, and the number, I'm going to write this out first, and then we'll and then the date, let's say it's really fifteen. And let's say for twenty-six. Okay. So we have our date add function or the date add keyword. We have the date part as the month, which is where we want to perform the action on on the month the value of the month, which is four for us, April. And we want to add five to four to the month. So we're pretty much adding five months to the current four months that we have. So if we have currently we have April as the month. By adding five to that, that should give us September. Okay. Which will be nine. So let's run this. Now, when we look at our results, we have our year as 2015, which is fine. That's what we have. But now our month is now printed as nine because of this, the five months we've added to the month. And we still have our day as 26. And it does print out the time part because a date add function works both on a date and a time value. Let's copy this and paste this and let's say we want to make a change to the year and let's say we just want to add let's say we want to add 10 years to 2015 just cut up a case there and when we run this now we have 2025 and we can of course do the same thing to the day Just need to change this today. And if we were to add, okay, actually, because we could do, we can also subtract. Why? Not? Let's try the to subtract. And all we need to do for that is to just have a minus sign before the value, so minus twenty. So we're telling what we're saying to SQL is that deduct from the day column not the day column, from the day value, 20. Okay, when we run this, now we can see that we have 2015, 0, 4, and now it's 6. So 20 has been deducted from 26, right? Let's apply this to our people table. So we have, let's select, date add. And let's add months, and we want to add three more months to each of the individual months. 
and now I would say to the bet date and let's print out also let's print out the just the original bet date and let's print out the name and this should be an R And then from people. Okay, let's run this. And would use an alias. All right. So now, if we look at now, this is the column in which we made the change. And so this is the origin of birth dates, right? And we have said we now we're saying that we want three months to be three value to be values to be added to the months, right? So now we have for Sally Fox, August has been changed to November. For Amanda, we have February is now May. And then we have Fola is now December. And then we have Paul now May. Okay. What else can we do? I think that covers it, but we can let's copy this let's say we want to make a change to the year and instead of adding what we want to do is to subtract let's subtract two years from each of our people in the people table and yeah, let's just do that so now we have 97, 95, 98, 96, 90, 80, 1987, now 1985, 1980, 1978. So that's how we use the date add function to either add or subtract from a date value.